Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Game, is finally coming back. A new PS5 event will be coming this week. And Super Mario 3D All-Stars sells out. All that and more on today's episode of the MeCast Station. Hi guys, I am DPX, reporting the MeCast Station's news for today. Let's get right into it. Super Mario 3D All-Stars seems to be the most exciting, but at the same time, controversial Nintendo game of the year. However, it seems that the excitement for this game is showing as it's a limited release and therefore, it's been selling out. On Amazon and Target, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is completely sold out and it doesn't seem like it'll be going back up anytime soon. It is still available on GameStop, Best Buy, and Walmart, as well as of course the Nintendo eShop, but if you want to get the game physically, you might want to get on that really soon before it gets sold out. Luckily I was able to pre-order a copy for myself from GameStop. So I just gotta pray it comes day one, as opposed to like day 5,000. What do you guys think about all this? As announced at Complete Random just yesterday at the time recording this, Sony is having another PS5 event this week. When this week? It is happening Wednesday on the 16th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We are possibly, most likely, going to see a reveal of the price, the release date, the UI, and some launch titles. While not confirmed, I'm pretty sure Mo Spider-Man Miles Morales will be a launch title. And I also think, while not as a launch title, we'll see a sequel to the 2018 game God of War. If this event can end up being even half as good as the one in June, in terms of like what they announced this should be fucking awesome what do you think about this upcoming ps5 event though what do you think will be revealed what do you think the price is going to be the release date what games do you think it'll launch with let me know i can't speak for all you but one of my most anticipated games of the year was no more heroes 3 and i said was because well that's going to have to become one of my most anticipated games of next year, as No More Heroes 3 has been officially delayed. As for what it was delayed for, well, take a wild guess. Yup, COVID. There isn't much more on this beyond that, but it was slated for 2020 until like very recently, and we haven't even really gotten a gameplay reveal, so I'm not surprised it was delayed. I do hope this turns out to be really good, though. I mean, Travis Strikes Again was a piece of shit, and we were under the impression that it killed the franchise. Let's hope this brings it back. What do you guys think about the delay, though? With the next generation of video games almost upon us, it always makes sense to take a look back at some of the best games we got this console generation on the PS4 and Xbox One. One game that we did get this generation that can easily be worthy of that title is The Witcher 3. And it's good to know that CD Projekt Red knows that as it is going to be coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X with a graphical upgrade and current owners of the game on PC, PS4, and Xbox One will be getting it for free on the new consoles. According to CD Projekt Red, the upgrades include faster loading times and ray tracing graphics. It seems that CD Projekt Red seems to be more reasonable with this new console generation as cyberpunk on the new consoles is $60 as opposed to 70 what do you guys think about all this the witcher 3 isn't the only current gen game coming to the new consoles as 
Borderlands 3 is coming too. The deal with Borderlands 3 is the same deal as The Witcher 3 with a graphical upgrade and free for owners of the current gen consoles. On top of that though, it will also have 4 player split screen multiplayer which, well I haven't played Borderlands 3 myself so I'm not familiar with it and I'm also not sure if 4 player split screen multiplayer was already there but if it wasn't that's probably a big deal and if it was it's good to see that it's coming back i don't know i'm just gonna assume it wasn't and it's a bigger deal what do you guys think about this did you know that microsoft is doing another xbox series x briefing soon well, we know that because the entire thing has been leaked online. A Twitter user by the name Walking Cat sent links to four different parts of the briefing on Twitter and sees Phil Spencer, Liz ha Hamron, my bad, and Sarah Bond being interviewed by Cindy Walker, the senior director of Xbox Marketing. I haven't seen it myself. So I haven't been spoiled yet, or anything that pops up. But, I mean, I don't recommend it, but if you really want to, the, at the time of recording, the tweet is still up on Twitter for anyone to see. That being said, we're probably going to get an Xbox briefing very soon, but what do you guys think about the leak? Ubisoft had their Ubisoft Forward recently, and there wasn't a whole lot announced that's worth talking about in this video at least. There was actually quite a bit. Aiden Pierce will be in Watch Dogs Legion, Sam Fisher will be in Rainbow Six Siege, and there's also something that we'll talk about a bit later. But one thing announced was a remake for the critically acclaimed Prince of Persia Sands of Time, and to be honest, I feel the word remake might not suit this game very well. I get it's using a different engine, but oof, this looks rough. At the very least, I personally feel this game should have the remaster in the title, as opposed to remake, but even then, there needs to be a little more work done here. I'm sorry, I just it just doesn't look good. What do you guys think about Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake, though. Perhaps the biggest announcement from the Ubisoft Forward is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game Complete Edition. In case you're not sure why it's a big deal, this is obviously a video game adaptation of the movie Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and it is probably one of the best movie-based games out there and probably one of the best 2D side-scrolling beat-em-ups out there. But Ubisoft delisted the game due to licensing issues, which got many people mad and upset, and it gained a bit of like a cult following since then. And it's finally getting relisted, and it's back, coming later this year, holiday 2020. So yeah, this is pretty big news. What are your thoughts on Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, finally coming back? And yeah, that was today's episode of the MeCast Station. This is DPX of the MeCast, signing off. Have a good one.